Hello everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> Again, my name is Steven, I work for MisfitPicksGallery.com and today what I'm going to be showing you is a follow up to the last video that I just did. In the last video I showed you how to set up and shoot HDR photography. Today what I'm going to be showing you is how to edit them in uh, Photoshop and how to edit it from there. If you haven't watched the last video and you don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend watching uh, MisfitPixGallery.com how to set up HDR photography. So, first thing, open Photoshop. I'm going to be doing this in CS6, by the way, if I haven't been able to make any videos. The first thing that you got to do is you got to go up into your files and go browse in bridge. And that's how it is going to open. So when your bridge opens, remember exactly where you have it um, all put up. So I'm going to go camera work and that's not it. My photos. All right. So if you remember what those last photos look like, here they all are. So select all three so that they're all in your bridge. And then you go up into tools, you go Photoshop, load, uh, sorry, nope, merge them into uh, HDR Pro. You click that, and then what is it? what it's going to do is it's going to take a few seconds to process all of this. Um, it will take a lot longer if you have multiple photos, of like five or maybe six or seven. However, I'm only doing this in three, so this really shouldn't be taking um, any sort of time at all. Okay, so they're all merged, and now it's <clears throat> merging up into the HDR Pro. So instantly you get uh, just a little bit of a preview of all, th all three of them, them combined. So if I take off the overexposure, which I can, it'll actually darken it just a little bit. And I can put it back on. And there you have it. So if I were to take off just normal lighting, it'll actually brighten it up. And it's just all located just down here in the bottom corner. So there you go. Um, with uh, merging, uh, merging HDR Pro, you have several different types of presets up in the top right corner. I recommend playing around with these just so that you can really figure out what exactly you want. They come up with several different types. Um, there's the default, which and then you're able to uh, set your radiuses and strengths, yeah, tone and detail, and then you're able to move into advanced. So this is how that all works. Um, basically, I really, I really suggest playing around with it. It has all sorts of different types of presets, um, going into monochromatic, and all sorts of other types. What I usually use is uh, Scott S just because what it does is it adds a lot of contrast and that's what gives m most of my photos if you've ever seen any of my HDRs uh, that's what gives them an edge so with this you're actually able to play around with the radius so I'm gonna turn it down a bit and that brings out more full likeness of the background and everything that's going on but if I turn it all the way up I turn it about halfway so it starts bringing out more contrast, more texture, just like that. And the strength, I'm actually able to pull this up. And then what it'll do is it will add lots of contrast, lots of edge. Or I could just turn it down. Uh, I'm going to keep it actually at about one. There we go. Give you another one. This gives me all of my bright colors, all of my dark colors, everything. And so you're also able to make this picture smooth. So if you add that edge smoothness, everything is much smoother. Uh, toning and detailing is basically just kind of like um, using a texture map. So what I can do is I can turn down the gamma. I can turn up the gamma. Uh, I can overexpose this. I can also underexpose it. And I'm going to bring it up a bit more. And I can turn down the detail. I can turn this one really, actually, like, very, very smooth. It's lost all of its 
actual texture to it. All right, so we turn it back up. I've got a very sharp photo of just my guitar. Advancing is basically um, upping the shadows, highlights, vibrance, and saturation. This is basically playing around with the tones. Like your example, I can bring the shadows up more and more. And the highlights also more and more. I can turn this way down to a black and white photo. Uh, I can turn this way over, uh, way over colored. And I could turn it really vibrant. Or not so much. Okay, so I'm just going to call this done. This is completely done. I don't want to do anything more with it. Push OK. But like I said, before you push OK, really play around with this. Try and really figure out what would work best for the photo that you have decided to do. Because if it's a really bright one, I, I suggest using more of a darker monochromatic kind of scale and adding color from there. If it's if it's a dark photo that you're trying to make brighter, I really suggest in trying to custom something as well. Um, so you just push OK, and the first thing it's going to do is gonna, it's going to start creating this file. This is now your finished product, all trying to merge together. And with your editing, this is now merging straight into your Photoshop, which will flick right now. This does take a little bit of time, but and trust me, your results are pretty good. Now, like I said, this is coming with time of about three photos. It would be much longer if you were using more photos of different types of exposures. And there you have it. So my HDR is completely finished. Basically, just save and close. And after you close, uh, you'll still have your bridge open. Just close it. So thank you very much for watching. Again, my name is Steven. I work for MisfitPixGallery.com. Thank you very much for checking out my video. Uh, please subscribe to my channel. And if you have any other suggestions or ideas that you want to actually see uh, and can't really figure it out for yourself, please um, get a hold of my forums at misfitpixgallery.com forums, and I'd be happy to take care of you from there. Have a great day.